Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be taking you on a trip to Assisi, a city in Umbria, Italy. Ahlem and I caught the train to Assisi from Perugia station and the journey only took about 20 minutes. We didn't really check any train or bus times before we left the flat, so we ended up having to wait around at the station bar for a bit. We had some coffee and ended up meeting a friend of Ahlem's who was taking the same line as us. It was really interesting sitting next to him and Ahlem on the train as they were speaking in a mix of Arabic, Italian and English. When we got off the train in Assisi, we took the bus up to the historic centre. The bus was really packed, which surprised me a little as I'd been to Assisi a couple of times before and it hadn't been as busy. It's very windy. <laughs> molto windy. Molto windy. windy. <laughs> si, ma molto bella. Once we got off the bus in the historic center, the wind really kicked in, and I kind of regretted not bringing a hat because I spent the rest of the day with my hair in my face. <laughs> Of churches in Assisi, and it's very easy to get confused. Ciao, ah. <laughs> okay, so this is an understatement, and it can get a little confusing if you're just wandering around Assisi without a plan like we were. However, I'm pretty sure the first church we visited was the Church of San Pietro but I don't have any footage of that because in most of the churches in Assisi you're not actually allowed to film and I didn't really take much footage outside the front of the church. After visiting San Pietro's church we made our way back through the town to the Basilica of San Francesco of Assisi. And this place was absolutely packed. It's very busy here. <laughs> way busier than the last time I came. Look how many people there are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the queue to get into the church. It goes all the way around and into the door. So I think we're not gonna go in um, because it's just so busy. We're gonna go up and have a look at the view. Okay, and up here there's even more people. They're all queuing for this church. One of the reasons that Assisi is so popular with tourists is that it's very famous as an important religious site and is well known for its association with saints like San Francesco, San Rufino and Santa Chiara. Other people come to admire the beauty of the town and its architecture, history and art. So if you are ever in Umbria, Assisi should definitely be on your list of places to visit. Just try to avoid it during days or periods that are religiously important because I've heard that the town gets very busy during those times. Ahlem and I took our time simply wandering the streets. We found a couple of spots that were quiet and peaceful and took the opportunity to relax for a moment. And I obviously had to stop and film the cat. <laughs> After a quick walk through Piazza del Comune, we decided to stop off for a bite to eat. We made our way up to a little shop at the front of San Rufino's and sat outside to have lunch. There were a couple of places we could have stopped off at in the square but didn't. One being the Temple of Minerva, an ancient building constructed during the reign of Augustus in the 1st century BC. It's now home to a church, but unfortunately it was closed to the public for, I think, renovations. Once we had finished our food, we had a look around San Rufino's where someone's wedding ceremony was actually going on. 
It was a little bizarre as tourists were just coming in and out to view the church, all while this wedding was in progress. Our next stop after San Rufino's was the Rocca Maggiore, a fortress which sits above the historical centre of Assisi. The Rocca dates back to around 1173 or 1174 and has a long and interesting history. It's very windy right now, but it's very, very beautiful if you can hear me. It's a great place to visit and I have been inside the building before, but on the day that me and Ahlem went to Assisi, it was closed. So instead, we took in the spectacular views from the top of the hill. Whoa, this is so windy. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite spots in Assisi because it's far less crowded than the rest of the town and you get this incredible panoramic view all around you. I don't really think that the camera does justice to it. It's definitely a place that you need to see for yourself. It was also, as I think I said about a million times, incredibly windy up there. <laughs> so windy! On our way back down from the Rocca Maggiore, we stopped in at a bar. The place was really beautiful and had a great view over parts of the centre, but it was definitely not cheap. It was four euros for two macchiatos, which is a little expensive for Italy. Although I think here what you're really paying for when you buy coffee is the location. energized after our much needed caffeine hit, we headed back down into the centre towards the Basilica of Santa Chiara. Again, I couldn't film inside the church, so I don't have any footage to show you of that. But I can tell you a little bit about what there is inside the building. Inside the crypt of the basilica, you can find a shrine dedicated to Santa Chiara. This is also where her remains are kept. The main part of the church is also really beautiful and it's a good idea to take your visit slowly in order to soak it all in. Not all of the areas of the basilica are open to the public, but you can find different images online which will give you a better idea of what the interior of the building is like. Much better than I can describe it anyway. Once we left the Basilica of Santa Chiara, we walked through the arches on the left side of the building and down the street behind. We took this opportunity to relax again and just watch the comings and goings on the street. After deciding that we had rested for long enough, we made our way back through the town towards the Basilica of San Francesco. We were hoping that the crowds had died down and that we could finally get inside the basilica for a look. And we were in luck. When we arrived, the area was far less busy than it had been in the morning. Ahlem and I made it inside the basilica with no problems and took our time exploring the vast building. Again, unfortunately, I don't have much footage as filming is not permitted in most areas inside the basilica. There is a lot to see inside this building, and I feel like I could come back 10 times and still miss something. Definitely worth a visit if you are in a CC, but be warned, it may be very, very crowded. <laughs> After our visit to the Basilica, Ahlem and I decided to head back home as we were completely exhausted after spending the day exploring Assisi. 
There are so many things to do and see in Assisi, and I think we really only scratched the surface. We didn't even visit all of the churches. If you are interested in learning more about things to do and see in this amazing town, I've left some links in the description box below that I think you might find useful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.